Shit factory! Can't really see it, but the lake is looking real nice. Looks like some rain out over there. Also going over the shit factory right now. So you can imagine it smells like shit. Here in my garage, it's time to do shit again. I don't know what. Maybe a burnout. Probably a burnout. <laughs> That's all I got right now. It's been a real long time since I've had a passenger seat in my car. Now I have something to put my stuff on. Like my GoPro. Sick. It's that time again. Time to go for a drive. I really need to put new tires on so I can have matching wheels. And my arrow. And some vinyl wrap. Garbage. Also, if any RX7 FC guys want this front sway bar, I think it's like a 28 or a 30 millimeter with what look like poly bushings and the end links. I took it off of my car, probably won't put it back on. So come get it. I'll sell it for, I don't know, cheap 50 bucks. Is that worth it? I don't know. You let me know. I keep kicking this thing off. I should just find the screw that holds it on so I can stop kicking it off. Or just throw it out my window while I'm driving. Fuck that thing. Driving feels way sketchier with this. Oh, I just stole my car out. Anyways, driving feels way sketchier with this angle kit. I don't know if it's because it's not aligned or just because there's so much camber. Probably both. Because it's not aligned. And there's a lot of camber. Glad my windows are all up. It gets cold in here. Something felt real sketchy on the drive over here. Hopefully it's just the alignment, but I'm gonna go back to the shop and check it all out now. So right after I filmed that last clip, the car just died. Hopefully it's gonna restart. Gotta at least get back to the shop. Now it's not even trying to start. I feel like there's no fuel. Big old bro dozer just pulled in. Guess I'll just call a tow truck. So the RX-7 died today. Not sure why, not getting fuel. Fuel pump's not turning on. Gotta check a few things. Carlo's on his way to tow my car back to the shop. Then I can figure it out. Or just let it sit for a while. Or let it on fire. Or sell it. Give me 20 bucks and it's yours. Got a lot of options now. We'll see what happens. Is that my tow truck? It sure is. RX-7 broke today. There's Carlo. Sick. What's up, Carlo? Drove it here no problem. And it just didn't want to run anymore. There he is. Called the right guy for the job. Look at this fancy shit. Thanks, Carla. <laughs> First person to come to my shop with 20 bucks can have my car. Car's home. Back in the shop to figure out why my car sucks. Don't know where to start. Don't know what happened that it would have just quit working. Fuel pump's not coming on. Maybe I pinched the wire when I put the seat in. I don't think so, because I checked that. It also ran perfectly fine for a while after I put the seat in. So that's probably not it. The fuse is fine. Don't really know how to check a relay. I looked at it. It's there. So I don't know what to try next. Just gonna start messing with shit. It's really weird sitting in here with a passenger seat now. I haven't had that in a while. That's cool. <laughs> I'm not sure how this happened because I was being pretty careful it looks like I may have pinched a wire under my battery box really well it actually seems pretty loose so I don't think that's my problem oh there it is doesn't look damaged at all so that's probably not why my car won't start right now but Search continues. Don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna start messing with shit. 
So I take my fuel, pump, gas tank, this cover off. Check the wiring, I guess. I don't know why it would have got mess, messed up, but there's a lot of things I don't know. So fuck it. I don't know, it looks fine. Looking at the fuel pump wiring. This wire's got some exposed wires there. Right next to some other wires that have some exposed wires. Pretty suspicious. There's probably an easier way to do this. What the fuck? So this is probably unnecessary. And there's probably an easier way to do it, but I don't know how. I'm gonna take the fuel pump out. Test that, see if that's working, I guess. I don't know what else to do right now. I'm not the best when it comes to cars, so I'm just gonna do whatever I know how to do. Time to test the fuel pump, I guess. <laughs> Got some alligator clips hooked up to each wire. Gonna just touch it to my battery, see if it goes. Fuel pump's working. I know it's not a fuel pump, as you know. That also means I still don't know what the problem is. So the fuel pump's working. Which is cool, but again, doesn't help me. Because now I still need to figure out why my car is not working. And why my fuel pump's not getting any power when I turn the key on. I hate electrical stuff. Not good at it. Here goes nothing again. Well, I'm pretty out of ideas. Fuel pump works. All the wiring's fine. The fuel pump fuse and relay both work, look fine. All the wiring, as far as I can tell, looks fine. What else would cause it? I don't know. Maybe something under the dash. Maybe I kicked a wire loose. Let's check that. Not sure if this is even related to the fuel pump, but found a random fuse under the dash. That's really hard to see, but it's popped. Time to find my little thing and see what fuse this even is. The thing is, there's one for audio, so it definitely doesn't matter. So again, I'm back to not knowing what's going on. Back to this, just to check. Fuses look fine. I tried switching the spare relay again. Still nothing. So I have no idea. Fuck. So if anyone has an idea of what I can try next, comment, let me know. Because I'd like to drive my car. I was sitting at a gas station, started my car, let it run for like a minute. Then it just died out of nowhere. Watch this. Look at, look at him. Oh, no! Oh, 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 so I've been trying to chase down a problem that wasn't the problem I need to chase down. So it may not be any easier, but at least I have a better idea what to look for. Well, that's about all I feel like doing today. Checked a few more wires to make sure they were plugged in and stuff, and they all are. But no power going to the ECU. Really frustrating. Spent a lot of money to get this car running. And having, uh, having a few issues. So, I don't know. I'll come down again in a couple of days when I don't hate it so much anymore. I really want to like this car. But it just makes it really easy to not like it. Goodbye and fuck off.